Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's YC Rhino here and it's time for RuPaul's Drag Race Season 13, Episode 6. Last week we saw Joey J and La La Ree in the bottom and La La Ree had what I think we can all say was the worst look to ever walk the runway at RuPaul's Drag Race. It was terrible. She could have done nothing and probably would have still done better than, than what she did. It didn't look like she put any effort into her, her look at all. So uh, she did win in the um, lip sync against Joey J. Joey J went home. And then the ladies went to the Untucked Lounge. Now, well, they didn't go then, they went before, but we, we after the show's over, we go to Untucked Lounge. Now, I normally, normally don't watch Untucked. Um, sometimes I do, you know, it just depends on how tired I am. I never record myself watching Untucked because a lot of times it's very boring. It's like, there, there's really nothing post-worthy or review reaction-worthy. Um, last week was obviously an exception to that. Um, we saw what I think was probably the most embarrassing interaction between queens ever on the show. There might have been some stuff in the past that happened with some queens that I won't talk about. Um, but I found I found that interact or this interaction between Candy Muse and Tamishi Iman to be very triggering for me. Um, I've not liked Candy. I I got I kind of got a weird feeling from her during the first episode. Um, I think when she talked about Aja, it kind of made it it just put something in my mind about her and 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 I've been trying not to like to hold that against her. I've been trying to judge her on her runways or her performances and when she does good I say she does good and when she looks good I say she looks good and I try not to to let my bias about how I feel about her come in between that but last week was just crazy like you know depending on where you are um on what side of the fence some people thought that Tamisha provoked Candy and some people thought that Candy um provoked uh Tamisha, it, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which side that you that you think was right or was in the wrong. Um, this is just the show, and no matter how upsetting it is to us, we've got to be very, we've got to keep in mind that this is a show, and this show is taped and it's and it's edited in a, such a way to kind of make people want to watch. Um, nothing we see on this show, no matter how triggering it is for us or how angry it makes us, none of that condones um, any hate or violence towards these queens. It's one thing if you're on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, you know, to to tell a queen that you love them. You can even tell them that you don't care for their drag. Like that's, that's your opinion, but no one should be sending hate to any of these queens for on, you know, for any reason. So please guys, you know, have your opinion, be mad, you know, post it in the comments, but you know, let's keep, let's keep this civil, right? So I have no idea what's going to happen today. I don't know if they're going to squash what happened last week and act like it never happened, or if they're going to re, um, they're going to revisit the whole situation. I'm going to try to keep myself in check for sure. Um, because if you guys watched when I, when I, when I, when I, when I reacted to all stars, um, and Alexis Mateo, like that's the feel. Like I was very angry about uh, Candy um, because, of course, she's kind of. I feel like she's been picking on Elliot, and you guys know um, I really like Elliot, and I know Elliot's probably got. You know, everybody thinks she's got some baggage, and there's she's problematic, and that's fine. Everybody's a, you know has a, a right to their own opinion. Um, you know, I like what queens I like, and I might not understand why you like the queen you like, but you know, be respectful of me and let me like my queen, right? Anyway, I have to go ahead and get started because it's about to start and I hope this is a good one and I want a little bit of, like a little bit of drama, but I don't want a repeat of what we saw last week. So let's, let's go ahead and get started and I hope you enjoy my reaction. When all of us right untucked, it got crazy. Mm. There's a lot That's of- That's understatement. I feel like I've watched this so many times over the last couple days that it doesn't bother me anymore. 
she has a difficult time taking it. Yes. It's very defensive. That was she very evident in her reaction. And you didn't have to ask. Are you talking about... You. What you mean, bitch? Don't ask a question. And that you don't want to know the answer to. Thank you. Whatever the other girls feel some type of way about me, two of them are already gone and our entire group is still here. That is what I'm talking about. Thank you. She yeah, like her shit don't stink. It's a competition. Right. You can be on top today and on the bottom tomorrow. Girl, we don't even go speak to me. I'll speak to you. I don't need you to tell me that. I'm a woman. Oh shit, I forgot my shade button. It's what I think. They are rooting for me. I love them to death. For everyone else, I have something to say about me. Yeah, but I think your girls need to check you too because you are a little bit. Uh, you're, you're a little bit full of yourself. And Tamisha Mana, she's a she's a grown. I mean, she's an older queen. So I mean, I I know for me being an older, uh, not like old, but I'm older than a lot of people that watch this show, and so I have a very different take on that interaction. Um, and when she called Candy a little girl, she sent me. I, <laughs> I love that part. That was the best part of the whole argument. Now to prove your Here we go. Another design challenge. <laughs> Lola Reese probably likes too soon, too soon. Sure. How about yes? So at the bottom of the barrel is myself and Tamisha. That's it's okay. Like a different day. <laughs> That's okay. You guys can be together. <laughs> oh my god, drum roll. Who is Meg gonna pick? Oh my god, I guess this is so nerve-wracking. Yeah, this is, this is, this is relax, was it relax? 30 minutes to create your wall. Relax katops? Is that what it was? Is that what they were doing with, uh, okay, okay. I, I'm sure I'm fucking that all up now. For the drag queen who likes That's a super cute little dress. Oh, that's cute too. What's the matter? Carol Baskin got your tongue. <laughs> Where are you going, girl? Come on back. <laughs> Don't twist your ankle. Woo! Still, the two of them have no business getting together on a make it yourself design challenge because that's a mess. Tamisha Mon and Ellie with two Yay! They're Costume is a complete look, too. Okay, Queens, now that you're already partnered up, it's time to hit the dance floor. Take a picture of the last one. I'm talking disco, baby. Oof. Disco's a rough challenge. We're going to see some hot messes today. So I'm very versed in Bee Gees and their music. So you work on. Yeah, but the Bee Gees aren't really disco. That a lot of people make that mistake. They weren't really disco. They were, they kind of got put into that bucket by doing the soundtrack for Saturday Night Fever, but disco was not really their genre. Disco, but disco never really right. No, because if you, if you would child of the 70s, you always love disco. But disco, you, yeah, disco, you gotta, you cannot be still listening to disco music. So who knows anything about disco? None of them babies. Men, women, everybody was Oh, this is, this is gonna be Miss Tamisha's thing, because she knows disco. So the rest of these children do not know disco. Tamisha, this is going to be her challenge. Come on. What's the difference between Diana Ross and Donna Summer? Did you know the difference? No, definitely, yeah. Could you pick them out in the lineup? <laughs> oh my God, Rue. Rue is overdoing the laugh this season. She's doing it on here and uh, UK. They both do. And the other one's dead. Wow. So listen, I will see you okay. Ah! We're not gonna get to it. We're gonna get it. It's Tamisha! Wait, it's a. Rue's like, I don't need to talk to her. I know she knows what she's doing. Ah! I want to see that interview. This is a different 
dancing challenge and I should have picked a dancing queen. Had I known, I would have chosen two bitches and two left feet. And now here I am. <laughs> my life. <laughs> Choices. Hit and a top. Hit and a boom, and a boom, and a boom. That kind of remind me of a little new addition there. If it isn't love. And I say that facetiously. Oh shit, I missed what she said. Come on, babes. I need you two to I need you two to knock it out of the park. These are my underdog queens. What the hell? Yeah. What's that about? Wow. Ellie is like, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm like, one. Ellie is living. One, five. Eight and a half, 16, 22. It's not just the cancer. I'm here with an ostomy bag on my stomach. It's an open wound, and it limits my mobility. Oh, God. I can't do the things that I normally could do. You need to talk to the queen. You need to talk to the Six, choreographer seven, about that. Five, 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 Special treatment. I'm oh no. To to oh gosh. That's a serious thing though. You gotta be careful this with that. Olivia and Utica, I mean, one of them is doing the choreo wrong, and by the looks on it ain't Olivia. Not Olivia. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh shit. <laughs> it's Utica and it's <laughs> Oh, come on, Lala, don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You think you're all right? <laughs> mean Girls on three. One, two, three. Mean Girls. Oh, is that the click? Oh, is that the click? Is that what you want? Over Dream Girls. It's the Mean Girls. Oh, that's not cute. She's been short dressed in the last couple episodes. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. I like it. Beautiful. Oh, Lonnie loves that. Hey, all you foxy people. All right, here we go. Let's see. baby dress with her. That's that's cute. I like that. <clears throat> so the judges are probably going to fall all over themselves. Uh, stop relying on that body. They better read her for this. This is some bullshit. This is not a look. No. No ma'am. No ma'am. Y'all know I love Elliot. Oh, I love that 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 coat is beautiful. That gold brocade. Oh God, that's gorgeous. Okay. She looks beautiful. Come on, Phaedra. I want to 
It's simple. I wish there was a little bit more to it, but it's pretty. Okay. I don't. It's too simple. She looks beautiful. Her hair looks gorgeous. She got her little teeny tiny purse. So my little black dress is inspired by Audrey Hepburn, and and I'm really excited about this concept. I don't love it. Okay, so she's got the black eyes like uh, Widow Von um, Do did last season. I like the I like the spider webs when she puts her arms up. She's like, I am the spider. Okay, it's okay. It, it's not my favorite. It's okay. Here we go, Rose with the ruffles. What is this? I don't get it. This look is definitely a little bit camp, but it's also very sexy. It doesn't help. It doesn't do anything for your shape, though. It doesn't. Yeah, I don't like it. Damn, that is short. Her cooch is hanging out. I know you want a little black dress, but it should still fit you. No, I'm sorry, Lalari. It's too small. But it's the hair. The dress is not enough. Back to my okay, they're gonna have to. So, so Simone is another one. They're gonna have to read her. Like her look is not complete. Like she's she's got a great body. She looks fantastic, but they're gonna have to read her. She needs to bring a little bit more to that to that look. I've made some decisions. Okay, some decisions have been made. I think Got Nick's gonna be in the bottom. All right. It was your look, Denali. Your, your look is what got you in the. Well, I mean, your look and your performance. Rose was much better in the in the in the uh, challenge. I think um, Tina Burner is going to be in the bottom. And I love that. I don't like her look, and she didn't. I didn't like her performance. Your performance, though, was out of this world. Really? Control of the stage. All right. You were a disco queen to me tonight. Well, she was given very different energy than Candy. So what does that mean? for RuPaul's Drag Race. In your performance. But I thought her performance was the best in that group. On the runway, I think the hair is what's speaking here. Yeah. And we are listening. We are listening to the hair. The rest of it is a boo. Yeah, I'm hearing. <laughs> and, and then the, the thing on top is the earring. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. That is, okay, that's original. I mean, I loved it. That's original. Very clever. So shit, who's gonna be in the bottom? Is it gonna be Utica and Candy? Is it gonna be Utica and Tamisha? Is it gonna be Tamisha and Candy? This is probably gonna be some damn bullshit. They're probably gonna put Tamisha and Candy against each other. Just because of what happened last week and that's gonna make me very angry. Welcome back ladies. I've made some decisions. Olivia Lux. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the winner. Oh, okay. All right. She probably deserved it before, and she had it coming. I don't know. That look was kind of basic, though. Okay. Ooh, who's going to be in the bottom? Oh, shit. Here we go. Please do not put Tamisha and Candy amongst each other. You looked a little panicked at the disco. Please be safe. You gave us earth and wind. We needed fire. They didn't like Utica's look or her performance, so I think Syracuse, it's connected. She gonna be the bottom? You're safe. This is some bullshit! <laughs> They're doing this on purpose! Okay. We saw this coming, so I should be prepared and ready for this. So here we go. They love to put queens against queens. Remember when Alyssa Edwards and Coco Montrese had to go against one another? They love it. So let's watch it and judge it for what it is, okay?
made my decision. They're going to pick Candy because she's got a... It's either going to pick Candy just because this is how this show does. <laughs> we'll see. Candy Muse. Shantae, you stay. Surprise! Thank you so much. Hopefully she'll be more humble Thank now. Hopefully she will be humbled. She was in the bottom. Tamisha Amand, you're a fighter, a survivor, and a star. Aw. Thank you. For we love you, Queen. Opportunity. I'm truly grateful. Thank you to each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Aw. Sashay away. There you go. That's dignity. Good job, babe. <laughs> Goodbye, Tamisha. We love you, Queen. <laughs> you see that? Y'all see that? I don't want anybody to feel every competition you don't have to win. Sometimes you just have to show up. Yeah. That's part of my legacy. Oh. actually heal to get ready for all stars. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You you get you go take care of yourself. Oh, good for her. Oh. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Amen! All right, now let the music play. I like that. I like the way that one ended. Um... Okay, let's let's watch Untucked, and then we will we'll come back to, to this conversation. Yeah, and so I think it might be Candy and... Really? Misha in the bottom. You're kidding. You actually case, been in the bottom, Misha. got me in the bottom together lip syncing no you know crocheting and blankets yeah bitch in the bottom candy, what candy, 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 let's see candy, what the fuck you think oh my god are we are we like are we cool now yeah i said what i said last week we fished through as an adult you know what i'm saying Aww. the challenge actually brought us back together good uh, i'm glad i'm glad to hear that like i like it when people have differences and they put their differences well, aside perception of her and they can grudges against nobody. Yeah, you we just naturally worked it out. Right. You I say what like you say, you mean what you say, and hard. then you just so go, okay, I, after that I'm done. Like I, I, what I said was real. The challenge. I was a little bit confused with the way the tops and bottoms are called today. Uh, why with you on that candy? In the beat, I was I think Candy, I'm with Candy on this one. I think Candy was the best in her group. I don't understand why she's in the bottom. I really don't. Candy Mills, Shantae, you stay. Okay. So that was it. That was the end of Untucked. Like, um, I understand that, that Drag Race, I mean, it's a reality show, and so they have to do things to kind of, like build the drama and create uh, and create some tension i do not think that candy muse and Tam tamisha amon should have been in the bottom i think that it should have been gotnik and utica queen in the bottom they if you go back and you look in at the challenge and their runways they were truly not like they, they were the worst but it's all about ratings, and, I, and I'm good with that. I'm fine with that. Um, I love how these two queens, when I see these two queens, I'm, I'm referring to Tamisha and Candy, were able to put their differences aside and call, and call a truce, necess, right? So um, it was a good episode. Um, I think Rosé might have been robbed. Well, I say that. Rose was fantastic in the challenge, but her runway was not great. I, I think that Olivia Lux did great in the challenge, but I didn't care for her love runway look either. Yeah, I think about it. We'll have to see what happens next week. Did the right queen leave? No, not necessarily. But I don't think I don't think that Tamisha was gonna win anyway. I love her. She like she captured me right away I don't think she, long term I don't think she was going to win so whether she left now or she went, left later I don't know that it made that much of a difference um but I, I don't I don't agree with how that went down so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction 
And you know, I love your comments. I love your feedback. I'm very willing to talk to you about how you feel about the episode and who you thought should be in the bottom. So please feel free to, you know, leave a comment and like, and please subscribe. So I will see you guys later and I hope you enjoy this reaction. Bye.